Mmm. Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Coke cup. Okay, we're gonna sit on the floor because we need to be grounded. Just gave up on. Aw, you gave up? Yeah, just gave up on talking to Bonnie McKee after watching a bunch of other people talk to her. And maybe I was a little jealous. Ugh. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, ugh. this is a safe space. And if it's not for you, it is for me and you need to find the nearest exit. So, <laughs> bye, like, what? Anyway, Bonnie just like, <laughs> I don't even like, what? It's just, it's hard to explain what Bonnie McKee just did because she dropped a music video for Hot City and it was, uh, it was, whoo, hey, illegal. It was so good, it was illegal. It was so good that Bonnie McKee, <laughs> hey, Bonnie McKee no longer is a registered voter. Bonnie McKee no longer is allowed to have a driver's license in the state of California. No rights, <laughs> no rights. And she's this close to prison time. We're waiting on the trial. So like, hey, it's a matter of time until we, <laughs> until we get her off the streets, you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. And yes, and yes, and yes, my Diet Coke cup has a rum and coke in it. And no, I don't want to talk about it. You bitches coming around here judging people. Oh, you had a rum and coke? Yeah! Yeah, it's a Tuesday night. And I had a rough Tuesday day. How about that? Idiot. Okay. Focus. Bon Bon, AKA Bonnie McKee, AKA Pop Goddess, AKA Friend of the Pod, AKA We Don't Have a Pod, AKA What's My Hair Doing? Guys, <laughs> could you just let me have a day where I wasn't disgustingly ugly? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <sighs> I'm going through it. My hair. <laughs> That's not funny. It's a little funny. My hair presently looks like one of those dolls that you see in like Civil War reenactment places where it just has like the two painted eyes and then like the bangs painted on like the, the cloth face because Barbie wasn't around yet because it was 1852 or wherever the fuck we were. What? Nah, I don't care. Turns out, hey, we could have thought of about American history for a second, but we still don't care. Anyway, Bonnie, our close personal friend, does not know who we are, did not answer our live, did not, answered lives for people, remembered dates, times, falling in love stories, which was super sweet. I mean, we've met twice. Some of the people I will say, I, I shouldn't be so rude because some of the people lived in like Europe and like, have never met Bonnie McKee, let alone been in the same country as Bonnie McKee, as far as I'm aware. But anyway, I should be nicer. I mean, I met her at a bar in Chicago for the, sec the second time we met, and I was like, ally. <laughs> Bonnie released Hot City, the music video, and said, hey, like, why don't you watch it again and again, and like, react to it, make a video, and I said, you know what, teacher? <laughs> I follow direction. Sar, that's what we intend to do today. I don't know how really to do this. Sar, we're gonna figure it out as we go. And yes, I've had an, a full Roman coke before because I was anxiously waiting for Bonnie to answer my phone call after I was courageously enough, like halfway for, through my first Roman coke, and be like, <gasps> you clicked send send request, which which gives you some sort of statistic that maybe she might possibly answer your phone call, which then you're in front of however many people are watching her on live, and you then have to be interesting, charismatic, funny, charming, nice, polite, talkative, not anxious, not awkward, good luck. So we, I drank fast, okay? And I, hey, again, <laughs> We're in a safe space. And if it isn't, why are you even here? That's rude, you know? So, we're gonna rewatch it because I watched it on live and I got very anxious. And I watched it and proceeded to copy the live link and send it to three of my best friends. And I am a 31 year old who doesn't know how to work an iPhone that well. So I had to like copy and paste the link and like go through. So I definitely missed a little bit of it. So this, in completion will be a full viewing for me. Am I wearing my glasses? No. Should I put them in now? 
It's so far and I just sat down. But I, I will say <laughs> we are approximately six feet away from my television, which is a approximately 55 inch TV. So I feel like I'm gonna get the gist and I'm gonna be just fine missing the minor details if I miss them at all. And I probably won't because I have a big juicy brain. You guys are so out of pocket today. It's like a little bit disgusting. Any hoozle, I feel like I'm yelling in my apartment at my phone. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed all of a sudden. Focus. Hey, cheers to, um, there was a drag queen in Chicago. He used to do a speech that ended with, if she can't come early, she can't come thorough, let she let her come with honor. I don't know. It was always around one o'clock when the tears went up and I was physically there, but not mentally. This drag queen also used to play Jai Ho, like on a Friday night, which like, bop, but like, what? I am everywhere, except for right here, apparently. So let's focus. We're gonna play Hot City for the second time that I've seen it. Also known as the first time that I will see it without staring at my phone because my phone is recording me. Celebrity. <laughs> you guys didn't even know. I didn't even know. I still don't know. Wait, my hair. I feel like I'm part of like the little women cast and it's really hurting my feelings because I'm not even one of the boys. I'm one of like the little women. And I'm trying to like give that 90s sort of like not little women energy. I'm trying to be like one of like the killers in the first scream. I'm trying to be like, uh, what's what's the 10, 10, 10, 10 days to lose a guy I hate them? No, 10, 10 things I hate about guys? No. <laughs> How do, how do 10 guys in a day? That's a very different video. Uh, <laughs> hey, you said that out loud. Um, <laughs> what is happening? I know that I have a heavy pour, but like, this is a bit ridiculous. How to lose a guy in 10 days, right? That's, wait, no, <laughs> that's Kate Nelson. And Matthew McConaughey, maybe, possibly? Is it? It might be. He seems like a womanizer in the 90s. Was that even from the, it's not important. Stop, you're getting distracted and you're losing focus and you need to just watch Bonnie McKee's video on screen. It's, that's all you have to do. That was your one job. I have realigned 10 things I hate about you with Heath Ledger, right? Wasn't he in that? Did he have a middle part? I don't know. All I know is that I was trying to do like a cute 90s hairstyle and the more it grows, the more I <laughs> experience self doubt. Cause I do have ears. And my mom made fun of them for several years of my childhood. And by several years, I mean well into my teens. We don't need a trauma dump. We're literally just like, let's just play the video. <laughs> We're starting it. And hopefully I can like figure out what part I'm watching. Okay, it's starting. Wait, I got it. <laughs> Everyone shut up. It says I'm overworked. I'm never gonna finish these quarterly reports and other ways I couldn't see. A viewfinder! I had one of those. I'd be so fucking scared if it said my name though. <laughs> it would have said this is paranormal activity. We got a VHS. We <laughs> we're already stopping the video. Because while we were on live with Bonnie, and by we, I mean everyone else except for me, Bonnie said on the live something that she was like trying to do with her videos going into this like album was like all of the VHSs that were in like the vault. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you shouldn't be watching this video. So go do a deep dive on Bonnie's Insta. I will tag it somewhere on the screen because I've never made a YouTube video, okay? Except for like one time in college because it was for my final project and I had to. And now we're not enough. Hey, we're not taking questions today, enough, enough. So something that she was talking about was that she wanted to do like the VHS thing and she did it in Slay and I thought that was so sick. And then there's a new one that just like lets itself into the VCR, if that makes any sense, in Hot City. And she said, most of the songs on the album that she's gonna release are from the vault on VHS and she wants them to have their own sort of like personality, but all be part of like the same story. Hey, 
My neighbor's stomping because I'm screaming at an iPhone. <sighs> Everything's fine. So the fact that this VHS like put itself into the play mode was kind of like interesting, she said, and it was almost like because she was so overworked in the beginning that the VHS was like, girl, you just need a vacation. Here you go. And like forcing it upon her in a not like gross way and like a looking out for your friend's way. And then she said, which also like blew my mind, and I actually did get like chills over my like leg hairs and arm hairs and I got nervous and a little bit nauseous and viscerally angry, but that was too many feelings because she was like, oh, like in American Girl, I say the line, I was raised by a television. So in my brain, like going into this album, like TVs and VCRs and stuff of that nature were like looking out for me. They were like, praising me, they were giving me guidance and like an outlet. And I was like, <laughs> hey, so what do we mean by that? Because you're not allowed to write so deeply, like what? And she also said, uh, which tangent, I'm tangenting. We are apparently 37 seconds into the video and I've already decided to start <laughs> my thesis statement on Hot City, the music video. We've seen two looks and text so far, and I've decided I'm writing a six page paper about Hot City. I'm so fucking unwell, it's insane. Where was I going? Oh, she said one of her favorite lines that she wrote in the song was, I'm trying to fix my hair and trying to make it any better than it was because it's not better and it looks like dog ears. I look like Lady from Lady and the Tramp and I can't do anything about it and we're just here and I'm mad. Mad. Hey, actually, hey, anger. <laughs> I should look it up so I don't fucking butcher it because I'll be so fucking embarrassed if I butcher it. City lyrics. Funny me. Yoink. Looking like a dirty magazine, peeling out like a tangerine. Here we go, here we go. We'll live it up in Hot City. Which is a great segment of the song. It's in verse two. My favorite part, because I just went into Ariana Grande notes, I apologize. <laughs> this is actually in verse one, and this is where she like, we like sent out the warrant for her arrest as like a nation. Uh, a fallen angel in a Chevrolet, I'm on your lap, what would my daddy say? He don't know where we go, when we go, so let's go to Hot City. <laughs> so like English degree oh my god like I love English I'm a native speaker like you're so smart you know one language I get it I'm an idiot and I couldn't pick a major in college but I did have to take a lot of fucking English classes because I thought it would be like something that I could use places let's just briefly talk about imagery a fallen angel in a Chevrolet Hey, I'm, there's not, that's it. That's, that's poetry, literally, actually physically poetry. That is distinct imagery written in a way that makes it poetic. It's actually hurting my brain the more that I think about it because I'm a full rum and coke in. A full rum and coke and a half, but we're not counting because we're friends. Okay, anyway, let's watch more than 37 seconds of this video. Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. Class, let's take a collective breath. Okay, and uh, God, she's so pretty too. Oh, I'm gonna say that a lot. Okay, ready, let's go. God, it's 9-12, and I'm lit. So we look like Jessica Rabbit, silver stilettos. Oh, ponytail and ass. That back combing, that hair. She looks like a redheaded Barbie doll. It is feral. It's not allowed. <laughs> Idiot. And we're dancing. We're in a line. Oh, we're dancing well. Women. So she just dropped, she did what we used to call in the 2000s a pussy drop. 
in a high pony and all of the dancers stayed at the same level, but they grabbed her pony. So as she dropped, her hair stayed at the same level. That was illegal. Oh, she's on a car. Ooh, the wet hair. She just put her, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> she's a Baywatch, oh, uh, Baywatch. See, I'm psychic. Yes, dolphins. <laughs> what's happening? I feel like I'm in Lisa Frank's brain and had better taste, but the same color palette. There's dolphins that are made out of glass. I'm, I wish I could say that I was like drunk and making it up, but I'm not. Oh, and now she's just nude in the pool. I feel like this is on OnlyFans. I feel like I should be paying to watch this. We've been liberated. Oh. This black number? That's a stage number. That's something we wear to the gay bar to sing a couple songs and shake our ass with our friends. Damn. That note. And then we end with the Jessica Rabbit hair. This is like, again, as I said before, illegal. Does not, does not contribute to society in an impactful way, only makes everyone distracted. I feel physically unwell at this point. Okay, <laughs> let's reset mentally. Presently, my zip code is within hot city, city limits, sorry. I'm no longer voting in the city of Chicago. I'm voting in the mayoral election of hot city, but they also do still have a warrant out for Bonnie McKee's arrest because illegal, does not deserve rights, too good to be true, all of those feelings. I lost count of how many looks there were. I lost count of how many costume changes and reveals there were. I And the hair, which only made me more self-conscious. And yeah, we'll get into that at a later date. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, yup. Mm-hmm, sure. I can't really verbalize anything that I'm feeling just because it was really, really, really good. Oh, I will say, I guess the one thing that I did want to say that I wasn't given the opportunity to say because she didn't accept my love request because she didn't like me. Uh, the one thing I wanted to say that I didn't have the chance to say. That's, you still sound fucking mad, dude. Chill. The one thing that I wanted to say to Bonnie on the live that I did not have the chance to say is I think I one of the things I admire about her is that like from the jump visually as like an artist, like even since as early as like mine, which is like a Bonnie man, you would only know it if you were like part of the fandom, you know what I mean? It's like not like super like big. If you look at the video for mine, it's like this MySpace girly who's got like a little bit of a zany aesthetic, but like we love her. And then if you followed that to American Girl and then into Bombastic and then into like these new videos, even with like Thorns and like other videos in between, they're all consistent. Like it's, it's not that it's ever bad to be consistent, but it's like you can watch one of those videos and be like, oh, this is a Bonnie McKee video. Like there are certain elements and aspects that speak to like the aesthetic of who she is as an artist. Even the Christmas special, like the one that she shot at her house with all those people, every single like shot and take, you're like, it, these feel very Bonnie. Like it feels like, and don't get me started on the short film because I will get very angry. So aesthetically, we love that Bonnie's very like, I hope this isn't said in a way that comes off as like mean because I feel like I have a very similar aesthetic. It's like 90s kitsch. Like it's like there's there's bursts of like color. There's like vibrancy and funky shapes of like objects. It's just very nostalgic, but also in like with a dream filter over the nostalgia. I'm just like consistently infatuated with like all of the things that Bonnie like puts out as like a set alone, even before like 
the rest of the elements are added. And she just is like, here's where we're gonna film. You're, and you could just pause the screen and be like, well, I'd like to, I'd like to go there for like a pop-up experience. I'd like to go there for brunch. I'd like to go there for like drinks with friends. I'd like to go there to like hang out and like all of the sets and including her house because she's shown a couple videos at her house. I think American Girl was filmed at her house at the very end in the pool. It's very like, I hate this term. I hate when people sound like such film nerds. Like, I like that I like that in the cinematic universe of the Marvel series that the spider continues from legacy to legacy to franchise. Shut up. We don't care. And by we, I mean me and all of my multiple personalities. I'm sure tons of other people care. And I'm very much outnumbered in that aspect. I like that there's a streamline. It is the moral of the story. I like that Bonnie's eye is at least part of the feedback and all of her visuals. I like that Bonnie's voice is consistent in all of her songs. Like, there's a reason that like in my creative writing class in college when we had to like analyze someone who we considered to be an author, I chose Bonnie McKee. I was like, how could you not? Like, what an incredible artist. What an incredible like lyricist. All of the songs she's written, not only for herself, but for other people, you're just like, this all came out of that same person's brain? So then I do not recommend going into the like writing credits of Bonnie McKee because it only makes you feel inferior and more stupid. But I do recommend that you watch Hot City and I do recommend that you watch all of Bonnie's videos and try to just be like practicing of like self-compassion, you know, like, oh, like we can't all be winners. I know I'm not. I know I'm presently sitting on the ground at nine o'clock on a Tuesday night, a little buzzed, confidently buzzed. And um, am I gonna make a salad after this? I really thought that maybe I was gonna say yes, but my brain was like, you're not, you're gonna make another rum and coke and watch Hot City. And you know what, that part of my brain's probably right. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys all nobody who subscribes to me because I never posted a video on YouTube except for that one in capstone class which was about Peter Pan and it was like a little bit embarrassing so I definitely put it on like hidden so if this ever blows up and anyone actually cares about me and my, my intake on things hey you won't find it unless you call someone who went to my college which would be really hard it was a very small school okay that's it for me. We've only been filming, including my bathroom break, for 29 minutes, so hopefully we can eventually put this together and edit it. And Bon Bon, even though she's a fugitive of the state of Hot City, and she's lost all rights to vote, maybe she'll see this and maybe she'll think I'm funny. Hopefully someone will, if not Bonnie. At least hopefully one person laughs. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drink another rum and coke and I'm gonna create a um, change.org petition to get Bonnie McKee to come to Chicago to sing directly to me um, live. So yeah, best wishes, kindest regards. <laughs>